Okay, good morning everyone. We're going to talk about area between two curves. And so today we're going to discuss finding the area between the curve F and the curve G. And to do that, we can integrate from A to B, and those are my limits that I'm given A to B, some function f of x minus function g of x with respect to x. Now remember, it has to be with respect to x, and I have to have some limits. And the limit that I'm given here are from a to b. Now I will tell you how or why this works, because when you are integrating, you can find the area from the function f to the x-axis by integrating f of x dx. And that will give you the entire area. And we can subtract the area under g of x from a to b. And these are the properties we've talked about. f of x, the integral of f of x minus the integral of g of x. We can write it like this as a single integral. So. This is what we need to do today to find the area between two curves. Subtract the functions and then integrate. Now, something else here we got to be careful with. That if you're given some function and we know that g of x is smaller than f of x, g is less than or equal to f. When I integrate, I need to figure out which function is bigger, which function is smaller, so I can subtract them. So I have to get the bigger one minus the smaller one. And what we're going to be talking about and the way we're going to be reading it and writing it is the area of the function that's on top minus the function that's in the bottom. So I need to know which one's bigger, which one's smaller, with respect to x. And sometimes we cannot go top minus bottom, or we won't be going to top and the bottom. Sometimes when our functions are with respect to y, g of y is smaller than f of y, when I integrate, f of y minus g of y dy. I need to figure out which one is larger horizontally. And when we talk about horizontally, we look at the function that's on the right and we look at the function that's on the left. So we're going to talk about right minus the left with respect to y. So we have to be able to have a graph and see which functions on top, which ones in the bottom, with respect to x. And if we have a function with respect to y, then we need to know which function is on the right, which function is on the left. Now we're going to set up a couple integrals today. So let's look at number one. I have a function y equal five minus x, five over x, and that's this function here. And I also have the function y equal negative 2. And if you have the graph, we can tell that this function is the one on top. And this function is the one in the bottom. And if you're asked to find the area, the shaded area, the integral would be limits are 1 to 5. The top function minus the bottom function. I'm putting it in parentheses because that's a negative two with respect to x. Top minus the bottom. Number two. Given the function y equal to the square root of x minus two. Given the function y equals zero, and by the way, y equals zero is here the y, the x-axis. 
to figure out which functions on top and which ones in the bottom. I want you to see that from 0 to 4, the function that's on top, the function that's in the bottom. And from 4 to 9, the function that's on top and the function that's in the bottom. And so when these functions switch places, that's the top, that's the bottom, here that one's on top and that one's in the bottom, I need to set up two different integrals. From 0 to 4, the top function is 0 minus the bottom function is rad x minus 2 with respect to x. Now let me kind of group those. I know it's 0, but I want to write it anyway. And when I integrate from 4 to 9, the function that's on top is the radical of x minus 2. Take away the function that's in the bottom, which is 0, dx. We are not evaluating the integral. All I want to do is set it up today. All right, one more. Now in this function, the shaded area, this top piece is the square root of x. This bottom piece is 6 minus x. Actually, I won't even say bottom. Here, this is the top. Here's the bottom. Here's the different top and a different bottom or the same bottom. So on this one, I want to set it up with respect to y. So with respect to y, I need to figure out which functions on the right, looks like this one, and which functions on the left, looks like that one. So I'm going to set up the function right minus the left. In order to do that, I need to have a function in terms of y. So I'm going to solve that for the x. Square, square, x is equal to y to the second power. So I want to have the function here in terms of y. My other equation I am solving, that's all I'm doing. So the function on the right is this one. The function on the left is that one. So when I set up the area, I'm going to go right minus the left dy. And the limits have to be in terms of y. So if I look at my graph, the limits are from 0 to 2. 0 to 2. So for homework today, we are doing 5 through 10 all. All I want you to do is to look at the graph that's given and set up an integral.